Hi there. How can we save time in Excel? We're going to take a look at five shortcuts that you absolutely need to know. So we're doing a kind of normal task you'd want to do. I want to sum up all of the values in this column. So I'm just going to put a formula in and I'm going to mess it up. I'm always messing up formulae. I'm sure you are too. So what should we do in this situation? The best thing to do rather than trying to fix the formula, which is going to get really complicated, the best thing, just hit the escape key, start again. So I'm going to hit the escape key, the formula disappears, nothing else has happened to my spreadsheet and I'm ready to start again. So number one, hit the escape key when the formula's not going too well. Secondly, again, let's build a formula. So equals sum and just manage to mess it up and put it in and we're getting an error. In this situation, it's best to use the control Z undo shortcut to get rid of this formula so we can start again. So I'm gonna hold down the control key and just hit Z. And that has undone the formula and we're back to where we started, nothing has been affected. So one, use the escape key. Two, use control and Z to undo. So three, we're gonna go through five. Three is try to use the cursor keys more. We're trying to generally move away from the mouse, which takes quite a lot of time and effort to use the mouse to operate Excel. We're trying to move towards using the cursor keys on the keyboard to move around. And we can use the cursor keys when we build formulae too. So I'm gonna to go to the cell where we want the formula and I'm not double clicking or anything. You don't need to do that. You can just hit the equals key and already you're into formula editing mode. So equals sum and open brackets. And again, usually we go straight to the mouse here. We don't need to go to the mouse. Let's use the cursors. I'm just going to hit the down cursor on the keyboard twice and already I'm in the right position. Okay, so try to use the cursors more and try to move away from using the mouse when you're editing formulae. Another great shortcut is to use the shift key to expand your selection. So in this situation, we want to select this range of values. So seven or eight cells there. So we could use the mouse to click and drag, but again, that's taking up time and energy. So let's just hold down the shift key. And I'm holding down the shift key and using the down cursor. So shift key and down cursor has expanded that selection for me, which is really nice. So that's number four, use the shift key to expand the selection when you're building formulae. Number five of five, our last tip, is to use control, shift, and one of the cursors when you're trying to expand the selection. Now that sounds a little bit complicated, so let's try it. Again, equals key, sum, open brackets, and I'm gonna use the cursors to go to where we want to start our sum, and I'm holding down control and shift at the same time, holding down control and shift at the same time, and then hitting the down cursor. And you can see Excel has selected the range I want to select. So now I can just hit enter. And another little tip is you don't need to close the bracket. You don't need to do this to close the brackets. Um, if the bracket isn't closed, Excel will close it for us at the end of a formula. Okay, so I'm just hitting enter there. And there we go, that's the fastest way to do it. So there are five essential Excel shortcuts that are gonna save you a lot of time. Now, I'm going to set a little challenge for you. See if you can build that formula without using the mouse at all. We're trying to move away from the mouse and move towards just using the keyboard. It's going to save us a lot of time, energy, and frustration. So practice those five shortcuts and see if you can build the formula just using the keyboard, just using those shortcuts. Let us know how long it takes you. Good luck.